All right, let me. Oh. Hmm. Shut up. Oh, uh, that's why. Let's see. There it goes. So, um, I just looked at the high scores. I am third on the list. I am only like like two hundred and thirty thousand off from high from the first. There hasn't been any new scores since the twenty first. Those folks have not gotten. Scores applied since 20, uh, 2023. So there's one other person. As a little bit below my score. Let's see if I can. Not of a great, you know. Having the higher level bumpers right out of the Restart. <laughs> I'm not I have to waste my time. I'm not gonna waste my time like hoping that two of the other three balls are awesome. Look at the crappy. Hey. Oh, why don't you lay down? Hides behind the chair. I get to select, I should...
should be able to. Um, oh yeah. And Kuka. Once you get the, once you select your, all your side channels. Alleys. It's not great to stick around too long and scramble right. run the risk of all. Whereas if you're constantly constantly hitting um, bumper starting the morning screen and selecting you have center lane blocker outer lane blocker all the protection stuff that Not there now. Bottom blocker is that rolling up the Hey. Want the bonus multiplier. We only only have two of it. get a want to get a good attempt in I don't want to like spend an hour going like ah yes had I started off so much better an hour in getting to like 800 not really worth the effort I'm supposed to get Good first ball. I can get a like. If I get an above like a hundred million. Way off still from where. That's at least a star. Something. Oh, well, you know what? I could have a real. I could. You know, That's a ball. I don't want to start off low. Have to like bank on getting to that point. It's such a. There you are. Back again, I see. Hugan? Last angel in the face. Shana. 
win. These are sword. See, just activating that. For stopper. Here out. Other sire. That multiplier. Wait, tree. Getting Zinger. I thought for a second there that, that, that something something had gone out. The gust. And I looked over and stuff was. It, but not losing. But I lost concentration enough to fall, so. But this angel. Dan Cougar? Oh, yes. Dan Cougar. I just call him Dan. It's because I think it was amazing. But in hot form. Seven easy dad rock. Except in a
Christ. Somehow I was in the middle of dodging. Still. To... I guess the dodge. If he were hitting me, it wouldn't wouldn't let me hit back. I mean, dodge in the. Oh, level two bumper. Love that. Please relax. I need two more of them. Or I could also go with. Not putting my fucker moving my light. Patch that. I goofed. I goofed. Bumpers are up there. Bubble, uh, the, the downside, so the higher the level of the bumper, harder it is. This is worth more points. Obnoxious to, like, break. Uh, the upside, though, is that if you have a, a bumper or a slot machine, leave level three, but you get extra balls. Chasing extra balls and score level three bumpers. Way to get there does make. Scramble portion hall. But I would. I, my. I guess my. The uh, thought process I have is. Get up to you. Lecture ball. Power. Bound. Some. The bumper. But make the bumpers easier to break so you can fight more enemies. This fighting enemies is how you get progress in, on the board. Quite what I want. Catched all those things.
Bumpers are bumper time down. Enemy land. Okay. Scramble full go. Time to scramble. Really want lot like We can go. Oh, no, no, no. Shoot down enemy. Working on it. Um. some of my protection, protection in the top target Bora. Blasted.
Okay. Oh god. Come on, Luigi. I don't think it says anywhere. Or units you have to clear to get to the like field boss thing. S S O. Level 1 means you're busting a lot of bumpers quick and you're fighting a lot of, fighting a lot of the other it's pretty but the bonuses the uh the roulette items are so usually better like I said get a high level so you can get the Although I, I kind of feel like maybe the higher the higher level is, uh, higher level bumpers are better for the second table, where it's very easy to power up the ball. And therefore you can sit around and, and smack the level bumpers a lot easier. Relax, it's the wind. A little crazy out there. Currently, because I've already selected my you. It's smacked. Charged up too much because that should should destroy.
Hey, Saitani, how's it going? Join a storm day. Pretty good? That's good to hear. Work behaving. Things chilling out at work. Got... Shifts. Hmm. That's nice. I imagine those are probably less crazy overall. with a bunch of stuff. I have to just wonder, like, is it, do you would you run into worse people like at night, like doing dealing with like the drunks and the those the folks like that at night or during the day? It seems like during the day you would only just deal with you know whoever managed to not get thrown out in the night and like mostly people checking out and. Or, you know, not sticking around all that much. But, I guess it, that also does depend on your how many of your, your you know, longer term people are also trouble, I guess. <laughs> longer, um, long term residents, they are. Causing the problems. That's fair. I mean, it's, you know, it's good for everybody to not have folks in your, you know, in your hotel or whatnot that are there to cause trouble. Or just don't know how to behave. And we're on table two, though. Now we can get all the cool stuff. Ah, Fiber Skull. Super windy, gusty outside. I keep expecting the dog to panic about it. Or again, rather. Seems to have settled in. Well, unit 2. That's nice.
And at least with day shifts, I always found that you didn't feel like it, you could like it, you could get stuff done like after work. Just go like, oh hey, I've got to go pick something up on the way home to to eat or just to get stuff done. You don't have to you know schedule one of your days off to go deal with stuff all the time. But depending on how like what your the hours of your day shift. Are. But at least it felt like you could always go out and get that stuff done. Like, either right before or right after work. As opposed to working night shift, you always had to like get up even earlier and go out and do that kind of stuff. And depending on how late your late shift is, waking up. For me, when I was working like the grave shift... And like getting off at like 5 a.m. or whatnot. I would be lucky if I woke up at. You know, 3 o'clock or so. And then, yeah, you could go, like I said, you could rush and get stuff done for work, but depending on how rough the day was, you're just like, ah, I don't like doing it. And then you almost always end up having to do it on a day off. Um. Well, I guess it kind of just depends on, it also kind of depends on whether or not you consider yourself to be a... Uh, day person around night. I honestly did better with shifts than I never really got to like early morning shifts. I'll say last time I like worked there during the day I think I had like a start time of like 10 or 11. Still early but like I was just real bad at at waking up that later in the day and getting started. Yeah, I I I, I do I think that I am also more of a night owl. But I'm also just not particularly good at it that good at either of those things nowadays. Like it, I I sleep a little bit better now, but like There was definitely a period of time where I was getting like three, four hours a night ops. No good. Um, uh, let's. There we go. Ah, try. I'm not interested. I'm trying to get over to there. There we go. Uh... Yeah, let's go back. Come drill.
But yeah, for me, like, especially at the casino, um, the... I always enjoyed the fact that you would kind of start out the day, or about the middle of your day would always be, like, the hardest part where everything got real crazy. Everything picked up then. And then, like, it just kind of progressively got chiller from there. And so, you kind of just, you rode that hurdle, you know, kind of like a lunch rush for um, a restaurant. You'd have that period of time where you would crazy busy for a while. And once you got past that hurdle, it was just like, okay. So the rest of the night will be cake now. So, I need to level up just so I can get a, high, a better slot machine. I'd like to get that. So I can get, the, so I can get some extra ball machines. Oh. Yeah, there, there was always kind of a band where because I, I want to say at the casino, like nobody nobody started work after five. No, oh, wait, after nobody started after eight. So like you would have you kind of have like constant trickle in. People would start their shifts anywhere from like five to eight. It'd be like. Like, my shift was started at 11, and you'd have a couple people that would come in at, like, 2, you'd have a couple people that would come at 4, 5 or 6, and, like, the, the very last of the folks who come in. But then you had, also you had people that were working, who would work 8s, and who would work 10s. So, you'd have, I think I came in at, like, I want to say six. And I was there till sometimes five in the morning. But again, it was always one of those things where, you know, the the business, uh, the the casino itself didn't get really get till after five. There weren't a lot of people that just came into a casino during the day. It was all mostly re retirement folks. Oh, nice, nice. I saw the... Did you... Do any more uh, color to it besides the uh, just purple, uh, the, like... Purple and gold? Like, add, add a little bit more, uh, uh, like, a final detail level or anything? This is the last I saw of it was that and the uh the base. Oop. Get pinched. Get pinched by my robot. Oh, 
Get the pinch. I don't know if I got the bumpers up to level three or not. Still level one? What? Oh, they went down. Uh, it is a mecha crossover game. It is. Um, so there's like a long running crossover series called um, Super Robot Wars that Ban Presto does. And it has a lot of the crossovers between all kinds of different um, mecha properties. And this is a pinball game based off of that crossover from 90. 90 something? I'll check them out in a second. I actually have a copy. What? It'll probably be on Japanese, so I probably can't read it. But, yeah. Uh, it is a crossover game. It has um, of the properties that I remember off the top of my head. So it's got... It's definitely, it's got... Um, Evangelion, Ill Game. I don't remember what Ill Game it's from. Uh, it's got uh, Dan Kuga. I don't remember what Dan Kuga is. There's a bunch of bunch of different Gundam series. And. Not Mazing here. This is <sighs> Gravy would Gravy would chastise me for not remember. <sighs> um, uh, I'll I'll poke him when maybe he'll he'll pop around. I'm, maybe he'll sense the Gundam uh, Mecha going on. But it does have a bunch of different series. Uh, Zabungle. Um, is that Voltrez V? It's got Mazinger. Um, the one with the... I'm trying to remember the one because the, these... Not these. Um already have it so this there's three of these and they all combine together to make one super you I'll take more but uh, this game basically play in fact it is made by the same group that made the original Pokemon pinball and so it plays a lot like the original Pokemon pinball game. Except instead of like battling Pokemon pinball table, you are battling Becca from this series against all the different villain units from those series. Look at that multiply. My goal is my goal in this is to try to get that high score off the uh, little retro achievements high score table. We we ended up we played this a while back for one of our little pinball monthly things. Kind of kind of ended up just getting uh, a little little too into it and, and played a lot of it and 
again, I ended up, um, when I had some cash back in the day, I started importing some games from Japan because it was a lot cheaper to import old cartridges than it was to buy US cartridges. Also, like, like this game only came out in Japan, so... It was the only way to get a hold of it, but, you know, I got, like, a copy of it for ten bucks in box. Just like, yeah, okay. I get this guy to once I get this robot on a horse robot horse on a no robot on a robot horse I some combination of robot horse uh, yeah I I I have been very into video pinball games for the longest time so uh, yeah it's definitely one of those things where um, I, I wasn't really a big, you know, mecha head or anything like that. I, Gravy is definitely the the one that I know that is very much into all the Super Robot War stuff. Uh, but I remember finding it, playing it, and just be like, "Oh yeah, I can, I can definitely get into this." And, and it uses uh, a lot of the theme songs from the various properties, and the Game Boy audio chip is very nice for this era of audio. Ah, dang it. Get a, a lot of cool sound out of the Boy audio chips. But yeah, it, it definitely has a lot of a lot of different properties. A bunch of them that are kind of staples to the mecha genre at large. Between all the different Gundams, the Oz. Oh, really um, I'll look real quick and see. Got to remember what that. Gotta remember what that property. Um, get a robo. That's what it is. That's why I keep forgetting. Get a robo is the other big one with the multi, the multi units that tr um, combine together to make. Various other types of robots for different scenarios. Let's see, the, the other series that are involved here. So Dan Cougar is the one I, I love. I love just called Dan Cougar. Um, so it's got Evangelion, it's got uh, Zeta, Gum, Zeta Gundam, Gundam Double Z, Z or Double, Double Z. It's got Char's Counter-Attack, and Gundam Wing. And then it's got Dytarn 3, Zambot 3, Zabungle is... The blue, I'll show the blue one off when we get to him. Dunbine. Dunbine are like the, the bug-looking mecha. Heavy Metal L game. Ozinger, Get a Robo. Combatler V, Voltez V, and Brave Redeem. A bunch of those series I'd absolutely never heard of, but, but, until playing this game.
But like I said, it was one of those things we we used to have community pinball nights, and it was one that we ran across doing those. And I, me and me and Gravy specifically, kind of ended up playing a lot of it. Longest time. I keep going back to it just to try to get the high score. <laughs> Try to get that multiplier. No, you... I didn't hit that. The, it decided... It decided I'd been in the slot machine for too long. It's the auto. Ooh. I... I'd like to get those bumpers up so that I can start to get some extra balls I'm going to get a high score on them. Uh, but there's also another one that grabbed and we, we actually used it on Arcade Pit which is uh Battle Pinball, wow. um, which has Ultraman, Gundam, Kamen Rider, and one specifically that they made something about something brave, but it's a very similar concept as well. Although it's a, a little bit more of a traditional pinball, multiple fields, um, all the enemies, all the stuff on, on the field are like enemies from the series. Hmm. Get a get a robot two get a robo two. Yeah, I, I for the longest time I I had the original pinball for. Yes, then we got a PC in the house and we definitely played a lot of Epic Pinball. That Windows uh, Space Cadet Pinball was. I don't remember what the other pinball There was. Like a, there was multiple like Epic Pinball packs. Oh right, the other ones. Yeah, I had uh, we, the where the story about us downloading more RAM came from, or rather, we had a we we had bought a piece of software that like that suggested that you installed this program and you have more RAM. What it did was tried to create a RAM swap file on your hard drive, hard drive space. Um, and we ended up with that because he had gotten a copy of, I think I got it for Christmas or something like that. It was 3D Ultra Pinball. And it required eight megabytes of RAM. Our computer only had, or sorry, only had four. And RAM at that time was like hundreds of dollars for like four megabytes of RAM. And dad was convinced, oh, we'll just install this program instead. 
So we installed this floppy disk software in the hopes that it would just give us a more RAM so we could play this CD-ROM game. CD-ROM pinball. Ah. And um, not only did it not wait, it convinced the program that it but it never actually worked. Memory software was creating slow. It was trying to convince the computer that you uh, hard drive swap swap file RAM. It would start up and everything, and it would like work for a brief moment, and then as soon as everything kicked on, it was just slowed down. Just like unusable. It did not work. It did not download more RAM. That eventually we, eventually it became cheap enough to where we could buy, um, like for closer to like fifty bucks or sixty bucks. Eventually get, there, but the days of having the days of having like a you know four four megabytes of RAM and like, I think it was like fifty megabytes of hard drive space. No, I think that computer had more. I think it had like one hundred twenty because it, it had it came with a CD-ROM drive. Slow CD-ROM. It had, and it was a, it was early CD-ROM. I remember having enough hard drive space to play the game. Some dinosaurs up here. Those are probably from... <laughs> yeah, uh, we definitely... I definitely remember the days of having, like, the family computer. Nine-tenths of it being just full of, like, crap. Nobody else in the family really used it for any. Uh, my parents were. My parents early on didn't care much about. Uh, later on, my dad actually got into playing. Well. Other than that, we were not particularly in computer stuff until smartphone. Oh, I can just do this stuff on my phone. Yeah, you can. Like having your own little computer. The bungle. Got the bungle. I I I love the Zabungle thing just because the the enemy unit that shows up from Zabungle in this game. And it's like the, the main villain in the series, well, the main villain you run into a bunch in the series. Uh, his his robot or his mecha's name is the government. So you have to destroy the government to uh, to win to win the uh, the the battle and move on to. <laughs> I don't remember what the pilot's name. Tin cup or something? It, we, we're not fighting. We're fighting some... Gundam? I, I am... 
not well versed in that. That might not. That might be a. Change Robo possible because I'm getting my. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it it might not be a Gundam just from just from the look of most of the stuff that looks like large bugs is from uh, Dunbar. It could be a Dunbar or a Battler Dunbar series. Could be a Dunbine character. As most most of the the enemy units as have looked like big, big armored beats. This is unfortunately the worst of the few. Just teleports around and... And he can just sit there and freeze the same battle over. That's a that's a gun. That's one of the unit. Uh, like, I've literally only seen, as far as, like, Gundam goes, uh, I've only seen an MS-08. The only other Gundams I've ever actually set up. So, my knowledge base of Gundam is also very good. Dan Kuga, however, fake. I like this thing. And that's about a. Oh no, sorry. I also like that the, the like primary enemy you run into from Dan Kuga is evil Dan Kuga, which just looks like Dan Kuga. Your face. Lasted by Ford. Down in. I'll have to look and see the translation patch. 
still works with the um, high score stuff, the uh, achievements, high score paid or not. If it does, I'll just use it. Stick in my mind. I know the general properties of the is like. But it, if, I, if I stop playing this long enough, I'll leave it. The game itself, it's still it's all in Japan. Nowadays, anyway. Or anything that helps it stick in my mind. Better. So I need to... You know? Charged. That's also the... It's also the bad... Likes to stop right in front of the hole, and so if you smack him with a chance, you can just bounces right off him, and right down. Oh, uh -oh. not looking great. I'll see. I'm the far end. I need a whole billion more points. You level up, please. Why are you giving me a level down? Well, the... I don't remember the easy way to get the... Bumper levels up. It's a uh, horseshoe crab, or some kind of crab. Let's go with you know. Crunch. Lunch and crunch. got a sliver of health. It's not going to be. It's one. Let's try it again.
Lane saver. At least for a little. Our ball is still unpowered. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> ah. Bumper level down is not, is in fact the opposite of it. Again. Definitely not. Down in me. You again. I did charge. <laughs> Another angel. Let's go with the theme. And then one of the in the Evangelion yet. After the angel. So far. Careful though. Hit that 
in my life. <sighs> Although it just means I had to go back to the first table, but one of them down. We should get higher tier in it. It's point off. I'll take it next first day. Was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. Which isn't too far off the top, but like I said, I just need it. Gotta have a good, like, early ball so you can get into the later balls with a better table, all the extra upgrade stuff. Having to chase that stuff down with later balls is just. You're banking on half and a billion points in a ball, which is rough. Doable, but it's rough. Let's see. Ah, I think I will probably call it for now. Pick a. Take a bit of a break. Maybe I'll be back tonight. I don't know. Possible. It is possible. Anything's possible. Maybe I'll do some uh, more adventure mode stuff. 
might that might be what we end up doing. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, thanks for popping in, Zaitani and Lib. Appreciate it. I will also, since you're here, Lady Flip, I will shout out Lady Flib for amazing fun times in uh, FromSoft software. Recommend checking out. Uh, not putting the minus in front of it. It's better. Plains of Starfield, but... Uh, Always a fun time hanging out over there watching Elden Ring nonsense. As 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 somebody who has never been good at any of the Souls games, but I'm also I'm also waiting for her to get into the uh, the, uh System Shock Two. That'll be fun. I, I, I've always had a thing for that game, even though I've, like, barely played it. But, uh... Thanks for popping in, folks. I will... I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid over to Ryudo. I think he's still doing his sponsored stuff. He's doing, so Ryudo's been doing this, like... He's on episode 16 of... Just uh, all video games that were food sponsorships of some sort, uh, sponsored by some sort of, uh, you know, fast food place, soft drinks, etc., etc. Been playing a ton of the. Like he's like getting close to wrapping up. So get over to him. up some more. This. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for popping in. Maybe be back later tonight, like I said, but if not, enjoy your evenings or your mornings, whatever it may be. Double check to see. It was not like quitting, is he? <laughs> Away from. Start the raid, but. Yeah, I think he's good. I think he's starting. Anyway. Have a good one, everybody.